Hi, uh, a few YouTubers have asked me just to show the circuit diagram uh, for this setup. Um, I mean, it's really simple, as you all know, this is a modified uh, Rex C100. Uh, you'll need to look at the other videos to see how we've modified that for solid state relay output. Um, but we have live uh, mains live into this on a separate wire. We have uh, switched although you don't have to do this, I just happen to switch the heating output. The solid state relay is simply connected to a separate fused live and uh, it comes out and goes into the heating element and uh, the heating element comes back out and to neutral. Just ignore this one, this is just the mains um, bulb that I've got connected to show me when the heating element is active and uh, the modification we did to this just allows the uh, 5 volts I think it was to come out to the positive and the negative to switch the solid state relay so there's really not much uh, to this um, obviously we've got the thermocouple connections made to this as well let me just swap this back to the stand and we'll have a quick look at the rough diagram. I'm just going to plug this into the mains as well so we don't run out of power. Right, let me just zoom in on this a bit. <coughs> right, so what we have here is a fused mains connection, live and neutral. In this country it's 240 volts and you will see that the live goes to uh, pin one of the solid state sorry uh, yeah pin one of the solid state relay uh, just up there and uh, when the rex switches uh, between uh, pins three and four and the red light comes on the live then will then go to your load through pin two and uh, that is uh, whatever the load you want. In my case it's a heating element and then we have uh, out of the load uh, over to uh, neutral. Again this is all based on the UK 240 uh, volt main supply which is live neutral and earth. Okay now down here we've obviously got a separate fused main supply going to the Rex C100 there's the connection to the thermocouple to the C100 and you must watch the other videos to see what I've modified. I've basically taken out the switching relay and uh, there's two links added as you can see there. When the temperature is uh, such the uh, relay, uh, sorry the Rex wants to turn the heating element on it will produce 5 volts on one of those uh, uh, links again check your wiring uh, and uh, your Rex C100 but one of those will have uh, 5 volts on it and whichever one of those pins has the 5 volts on it you need to connect to pin 3 of the solid state relay uh, the other one we are calling a negative and uh, that just needs to connect to pin 4 so the thermal couple will show the temperature and when the Rex C100 wants to apply power it will produce the 5 volts on the positive rail that will go through to pin 4 negative and turn the solid state relay on you have the mains coming in to pin 1 when the Rex has turned the solid state relay on the mains will then appear at pin 2 that will go into your load heat up the element and obviously go back to neutral. Uh, earth whichever parts of this that you would like to. I happen to earth the um, heat sink metal plate on the solid state relay um, but that will depend on your uh, situation. Okay so I mean that's it really it's very very simple. Uh, two separate mains you could run them both off together um, but I've uh, I've done a separate mains for the element so I can switch it on and off uh, separately and uh, obviously the PID has a, 
a main supply. Make sure they're both fused. Um, I can't remember whether the C100 has an internal fuse. I think the PC410 does, but I don't think, uh, from what I remember, the Rex uh, does not have a fuse. So fuse both mains separately. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it really. Um, it's just, you know, it's not complicated. Just check which pins of the uh, Rex C100 is producing the 5 volt positive. I think uh, it was pins 4 and 5 that we were using had been modified. Please look at my other videos for that. Unfortunately the, uh, the unit I've got as you just saw is all sealed up and uh, taped down. I don't want to have to strip that down to just double check the connections um, for this video but they're all on previous videos so just have a look at those and uh, you know hopefully that will uh, help you out and get uh, get you up and running. Thanks for watching.